Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Dani Mantilla y esto es Quinótico en San Sebastián, donde cada día estamos hablando con talento nacional e internacional en colaboración siempre con Fred Film Radio. Eh, estamos hoy con dos grandes talentos del cine francés como Nadia Tereskevich, welcome. Thank you. Y Robin Campillo, <laughs> also welcome. They speak English very well, so we are going to do it in, in English. Robin, I wanted to ask you because this is a very personal story for you. Mm, when and how did you decide that it was the right time to tell it? Uh, I, I, I think it was when I, I, I stopped Uh, when I showed my my previous film in Cannes, and I was with uh, uh, Gilles Marchand, who uh, is a co-writer, mm -hmm. and I I told him that one day when I was young, I had uh, this outfit of a, a female superhero, a child called Phantomet, and that I was in Madagascar, and I went out on the military base with this outfit alone in the dark, and that was the best experience in my in my life. And he, he said to me, that, that's cr really crazy. Can we take we something? Uh, take, so, is there something out of it? And that's how it started. But because I didn't think that it would be some kind of film anyway. <laughs> Nadia, here you're playing kind of Robin's mother in a way. How was that exercise? Did you feel the pressure to, to do it right, to, to pay it an homage? Well, of course, uh, there is um, a sort of thing that is more than movies, which is to be, um, um, I don't know the word in English, but to be um, as, uh, I mean, the importance of the part is really precious and there is a sort of honor to give uh, to the character. Uh, but then we talked so much and we had this chance to with, uh, with Robin to exchange on his life and to have pictures and uh, anecdotes and everything during a long time that made that we had this background that did that we really knew our characters. And I feel that I, I had some link, you know, there was something that was more than just a character. So, no, it's a beautiful experience. Seguiremos hablando ahora mismo de La Isla Roja, pero vamos a ver un adelanto del superviviente de Auschwitz, la película de Barry Levinson, que ya está en cines y podéis ir a ver. Volvemos en 20 segundos. Estamos de nuevo con el equipo de La Isla Roja, que hemos tenido un pequeño problema técnico. And I was asking Robin if you let yourself have freedom in, in this story, because it's so personal. And also to give freedom to the actors. You know, when I do the casting, I just I want to find actors who can be free in my film. I don't want to be the puppet master. Mm -hmm. I want them to exist by themselves. Of course, I can direct a lot, but I love them. I want to trust them. And you know, for me, it's not, of course, it's my personal uh, history and my father, my mother, but I don't want that doesn't exist because I don't know exactly how was my father and my mother at the time. So for me, it's important that the film become something else that the original project in the script. And I want them to create a mutation of my thought, of my work, and that helps me a lot. So uh, the important thing is the metamorphosis, the mutation, to cr because I understand more and more thanks to them, thanks to the locations, thanks to a lot of things, I understand what is my film. But it's not, uh, I'm not a master of reality. I just, I'm, I let the wind go through me and create something else. Nadia, you have had two amazing years. What was the thing about this project that made you say, I have to do it, I have to do this movie with Robin? Well, of course, because first, I, I, when I knew that I didn't even met him yet, I knew that I, would, I was doing a casting for him. Um, I love his uh, precedent movies, Eastern Boys and uh, 120 BPM. So I, I was already honored to come because I know he's a great uh, metteur en scène, um, best in France, that's for sure. And then I read the script and I have to say that there are some things that are more than just shootings. It's Uh, souvenirs that you create and I feel that one big part of my life on that year was linked to what we experienced. It was cut in many pieces and there was like it's this what I love in acting is a kind of fiction life that you, you know that something is happening and it's not just action it's like a sort of story that we build without talking and we know it's part of our life and I love uh, because it's like many lives in one so, no, no, I knew 
I, I wanted to go all the and the character also this melancholy the nostalgia she has and at the same time she's before like she's in the in 70 but she knows that one day she could have this independence what it is to be a woman in last 60s uh, last 60s milita with the military man what it is it was an amazing possibility to explore that and to mm -hmm. and to travel to Madagascar. Yeah. Yes, that's cool. This also, yeah, it was huge chance. I have to ask you guys about King Gutierrez because we feel a lot of pride watching him in the movie. How was working with him and thinking he was the right uh, actor even being Spanish? Yes, uh, I mean, uh, I feel lucky to have found uh, Nadia and Kim. And uh, for Kim, you know, I saw a lot of uh, French actors. I saw all the French actors, and I uh, I searched for a Spanish because my father, my name is Campillo, I have Spanish origin, but I'm not Spanish at all, to, to be honest. And I, I like to work with a foreign actor, so I decided to find an actor in Spain, and I looked at a lot, a lot of film on the internet, and I found this guy, and uh, I loved him because he's a very technical actor. He's very, uh, and he's a comedy actor. So he has a, a sense of rhythm, which is very interesting. And I was saying just before that, he can be at the same time in a film by Pasolini, and he can be in a peplum, a peplum you know, a film, a Roman, a Roman historical film, popular films. And for me, it was, he has something of the 70s. He has something, and, um, because of him, and because I, I chose a Spanish actor, the script become, became be better. Because he had this question of domination, and because uh, uh, he's, uh, he, he's not absolutely French, so he's part of colonialism, but he's yeah. also in the, under the domination of uh, the French, and even from his wife at, the, at some point. So it was very interesting. But I must say, and you, you, can, say, you can tell, it was a pleasure to work with him because he's very professional, he's very friendly, and uh, I love the even the sensual relationship they had because I wanted to create a scene on the beach which was like uh, a 70s film, uh, erotic scene, very uh, prude but uh, very beautiful, and I love them, uh, and it was a pleasure to film them both. And uh, yes, we were very happy with We're it. We're very happy. <laughs> Uh, our friends from, from filming like to ask, what was the film that changed your life and how? Uh, I, I have a, a film, uh, a lot of film was important to me, but I loved this French director, very famous, which is Robert Bresson. Mm -hmm. And I was on uh, the last film called L'Argent, Money. I was on the, the shooting and I was a young guy who was fascinated by by this guy, which, which was like 80 years old at the moment. And I had a character, a small character. But when we were shooting for the first time, he decided to get me out because I was too thin. You know, uh, I was like a twig. So he, he did not too, too thin. So I was like, so, and to, help, to please me, he did a close up on my hands. You know, I was like, I uh, the, 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 and it is in the film, so that I'm so proud of it, you cannot imagine. But I was like this, you know, uh, shivering, uh, because I was so afraid, and we did like 40 takes, because the guy was crazy, <laughs> and he was uh, behind the camera, and so to see him work, that was for me amazing, and that helped me a lot. Really. That, that's a good cool story, and you, Nadia? It's just I, I remember I, I started watching movies quite late and I watched, um, well, at 18, I watched uh, Breaking the Waves of La Sontegrive. And I remember I thought, like, um, I, I got emotional with a movie for the first time that much. And I realized how movies can change your point of view. Also, the fact that it was a dramatic movie and I was in tears all night, but it's also a movie that gives hope and uh, joy and gives the to believe in in love and so yeah i think and emily watson uh, was a revelation for me her way to um, to believe um, broke my heart so 
Thank you guys. Enjoy Thank the celebration you. and have a nice screen tonight. Gracias. Eh, seguimos hablando de la Isla Roja, una película que se estrena en España el 20 de octubre y volvemos ahora con otro protagonista que nos queda muy cerca. Seguimos en Quinótico.es, la primera con K, la segunda con C. Hasta pronto.